we gonna get in the um AR ad. I just was listening to uh an interview this week. Um he was speaking from federal jail and you know he was going over, you know, talking about his case over the phone and you know basically how the feds, you know, you know the feds, first of all, if you get booked in a federal indictment, just know it's a probably ninety percent chance that you're going to jail. Especially if you was involved in some shit. So just know when them alphabet boys is coming, you see that FBI on the back of their jacket and they say, here, Rico, just know you facing some time. This ain't no bullshit, state load shit, or a little two days in jail shit. Like, you facing football numbers and up. So, AR ad got hit with the Rico. And, you know, free ad. Ab got caught up, you know. And Rico, and he's basically doing like 45 years, I believe. And it's just crazy because he's talking. He's like, I don't think he, I know he does understand. Because the way he was talking, he was like, you know, I got booked for all these crimes that other people did. And I didn't even do. Like, if somebody bust the track, I ain't had nothing to do with the track. Like, it could have been a nickel bag of, bag of weed. Like, I'm going, I'm down for that shit. I'm down for little Tony shooting down the street, and I ain't even had a shit. I'm trying to break these two little niggas up. And I'm, I get caught in that. Because I try to break it like he just got caught up with, like, a lot of nigga shit. And at the end of the day, he did go, like, when you look back at his, at, 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 at his, at, not, not saying that, you know, he told on himself, but the way they make it look on the internet is like you, like he told on himself. I don't know if that acquires to his case, but what you were saying on the internet and what they got you booked for is like lining up. That's crazy. Like free ad. Like I feel like, I think they try to use some lyrics and um, in his case too. Uh, he had a few, he had a few artists too, like Skinny Me and the famous line, I seen him do it, you know, Skinny Me was out here, he was, he was hitting them with, you know, bangers, you know, Philly Street bangers and, but they was really tied up, A-R-A-P, um, he had, he had money, he had a couple dollars, you know what I'm saying, he had, he had real estates and all that and it's a shame that. He got caught up in a Rico. Because, see, when you get caught up in a Rico, it's not. You could get booked just like they trying to get Thugger right now. You could get booked for some shit that you didn't even have no knowledge of. Like, real rap. Like, you don't. You ain't got to have no type of knowledge at all. This nigga could have smoked little John John. Banged him up, shot him up, dished his body in the, in the ditch, and, and and came to your crib and paid PS2 and ain't tell you shit. I'm talking about shit, diddly scratch. Not day that day, the next day, or nothing. And the Rico is when you tie when you we they just tie you up with all these cases, and that's how that shit becomes a 45 years or 75 to 100 years. Because now, don't get your co-defendants get to tell them like you the kingpin because you're going to get the most time. While they get either Sammy the Bull, you know what I'm saying, Scott, Scott free the fuck go going, or they get a little time cut off their shit so where they got a little light at their tunnel. So, once again, with my main topic, Stop looking for a handout, man. Majority of people that got like 30 or 40 motherfuckers around them is looking for a fucking handout. Like, real rap. Like, there's no fucking way you should have 30 or 40 niggas around you. Like, that shit played out. That shit 20. That's that's, that shit so 2003. Like, don't nobody be with 20 niggas no more. 
fuck you want to be with a bunch of dicks for? You know what I'm saying? So, you got to take the time out your day to do something productive with yourself. Because when you got 30 motherfuckers around you, and they... They, they, you, 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 that, you, 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 you in that mold, and you, and, and you, and my street niggas know what the fuck I'm talking about. When you in that fucking mold, and you in that vibe, and you hustling, you grinding, and you putting niggas on, and you giving niggas this and that, and you running the back like a quarterback. Yeah, just know them same motherfuckers. One of them motherfuckers out of them motherfuckers is going to tell when the shit hit the fan. Motherfuckers gonna be informants. You know what I'm saying? Whole time, they looking for a handout. They looking to get something from you to get something off of them. That's why I'm saying you need to switch your hustle up, gang. Switch your switch your shit up, youngin. And if you and if you in your thirties and you still doing the same shit. Bro, you emotionally weak. You need to get psychologists. You need to fucking go see a psychologist or something, man. Or go see Uncle Ronnie. Go talk to him. Go talk to Uncle Ronnie from back in the, back in the day that put in that work and switched his life up. And he's sitting up in the motherfucking suburbs chilling with his wife and kids. He'll tell you that shit ain't it. That shit ain't it. You think Uncle Ronnie motherfucking switched up? You know what I'm saying? You you think, you, you know why Uncle Ronnie switched up? Because he knew 20, 30 motherfuckers hanging around him was just going to lead to a Rico and him handing out some shit. And then they got you as the kingpin. So now niggas want you to pay for their case.